we are eating the equivalent of one credit card of plastics. Was it every month or every day? People read that and they somehow think to themselves, I'm not so much affected. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I guess people are in denial. Microplastics is something that um, it's in our food chain already. We are eating it. Um, it's inside us. There's not only organically broken down microplastics, but there's also industrial grade microplastics, which are the most sinister type, you know. It's like it's the quantity is is ridiculous and what as a society can we do about it? How we produce trash, how we um, manage it well. It's going to be something that we ultimately really have to deal with. It's not going to go away, it's not going to disappear. Maybe about, you know, the last few decades, everybody or most people or the polluters, maybe I should say, think that, you know, as long as we just kind of bury it under the ground or throw it into the ocean, we will never see it again. You know, but we know now that it's not true. It's coming back to haunt us in one way or another. The objective and goal of this project is to invite people to start a relationship with uh, their trash. Because eventually, as we know now, trash is going to come back into our life in one form or another. It's not something that we can bury in our landfills and not worry about it anymore. I always felt that art can be a vehicle to translate complex issues into something that people can interact with or look at and then understand. What we did was we covered the entire um, surface with debris and sand that we collected from various parts of um, Malaysia and Singapore. So what I really wanted to talk about was about consuming food that are contaminated with plastics. Basically, I invite people to come here and remove microplastics um, from, from the debris using a chopstick. This way of kind of interacting with rubbish, um, debris that I collected from the ocean and putting it on the table and presenting our trash back to us. But what I saw was the, the power of the format of the table to bring uh, you know, people who like children to marine biologists um, to uh, teachers to come together and from there I actually learned. You know. Buying that single-use bottle, packing that lunch in a single-use plastic is faster and everything is so much easier. My life is made simpler by single-use packaging telling the drink seller not to give us straws, not to use single-use plastic products, bringing in our own reusable utensils and food packaging. Those are really, really simple things we can all do. Choosing um, what we want to consume and how we consume it. It's our way of telling producers of products that we consume, tell them that this is not what we want. It's a simple action based on our part by choosing the right products and choosing what to use and what not to use. That goes a long way to reducing the amount of trash that goes into the ocean. It's the trees that gives us our oxygen that we breathe. You know, it's the ocean that gives us a lot of the sustenance that uh, we need to survive. So I think, I think one simple fact 
or one simple thing that people can do to start with is to appreciate our environment that much more and to understand that it needs to be protected and that everybody has a responsibility to protect it.